Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com and the 12th Q&A session. In this segment, I will attempt to solve various problems or questions that you guys might have in Alias. If you have a question or an area that's not working out, please feel free to send the model to contact at 3ddesignacademy.com. Now in this particular session, a viewer asked me about building the hood of the BMW X6 SUV. So this is the vehicle in question. Um, so there are several versions of these. Um, so there is the original X6 and uh, this particular is the X, uh, X6M. However, they all uh, share the same hood. So uh, it might look like I'm working on different vehicles, but the hood shape is exactly the same. Uh, I think uh, between all the cars. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So here is the setup file over here uh, with the blueprints. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to set up some curves. So let's go ahead and just grab a, well, for this one, I'm going to make it a degree three. I'm just going to create a base curve over here. And I'm just going to make sure that symmetry is on. And let's go ahead and try to fit the shape over the blueprint over here. So I'm just going to do something like that. And it probably needs a little bit of acceleration towards the end. So I'm just going to put that in. I think that looks good. Let's just get it a little bit closer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the pivot here and let's do a non proportional scale using middle mouse button. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, I mean, just looking at the orthographic drawing, um, doesn't look like there's a lot of acceleration towards the end, but uh, I guess that's okay. Usually cars do, but well, I'm just going to follow the blueprint as closely as possible. Okay, so now that curve is set, I'm just going to bring it up because right now it's at the bottom. So I'm just going to bring it up like this. And it doesn't look like there's a little bit of slope towards the end. So you probably want to put that in. And you also want to take a look at it from the front view and make sure that's good. Okay, so I think that's pretty close, uh, maybe a little bit more. So maybe I'll just push it up a little bit like this and I'll just use a known proportional scale again and using uh, the right mouse button to just give it a little bit of slope towards the end. Okay, so I think that looks good. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a curve over here. So actually, let me just go back to the image. So basically I'm setting up this curve over here and this one over here, and I'm just going to use a square to in order to for uh, in order to build the center section. Okay, so let's go over here. I'm just going to set set up the curve over here like this, and it does look like it's split into two. Um, so it's kind of hard to see over here. Let's see if I can uh, find a different image. So if you see this one over here, I think there's definitely a break in the hood. So I would say this is probably uh, another primary surface that I have to implement. So I'm just going to do that. So let's go over uh, back to back to Elias. I'm just going to make this a degree two and I'm just going to, well, let's just stretch the curve over here like this. Give it a little bit of crown like that. I think that should be good. Okay, uh, from the side view, I think, uh, let's see. I think, yes, yeah, somewhere like that. I'm just going to give it a little bit of crown from side view as well. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, and I'm just going to snap another curve over here. Let's make this a degree two. Like that. Let's use a stretch tool over here. Of course, I want to push it down. And of course, again, give it a little bit of crown over here like that, and that's looking pretty good. Okay, yeah, I don't think that's too bad. Now, uh, now that uh, those curves are set, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna create a new layer like this, and I'm just going to put uh, put these two curves over here, and I'm just going to make the symmetry. So I'm gonna say symmetry, like that, and yeah, I don't think that's too bad. Looks like it's a little bit outboard compared to the scan. So let's just push it in just a little bit. Oops. I want to move the pivot over here. I'm just going to push it a little bit more inboard like this. And that should get it a little bit closer on the other side. Now, because I'm going to be using a square, I, I do need a section over here. So I'm just going to duplicate this curve over here like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend it like that. 
And you, I probably want to, well, maybe, I think that that's a pretty good match. So let's see if I can just use that. Okay, uh, I'm just going to get it close and I'm just going to grab the CV and just snap it over here. I think that should be good. Uh, of course, uh, I think the height might be a little bit of a problem. So let's just push that down like this and let's use a square to uh, build the surface. Okay, so I'm just going to grab square. It's going to be one, two, three, and four. That's good over here. And well, of course, I don't want the surface to be here. So I'm just going to push that back uh, into the default layer. And let's just check the height. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, well, you can do two things. You can either turn the patch precision on or you can create a curve that's at the center and just project the CUS over here. And uh, what you can do is just use those in order to, well, basically get the, uh, is essentially the height uh, reference. So I think that fits pretty well. I think I'm just going to just give it a little push over here. And I think that's good as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do that, uh, do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to duplicate this curve like this. Oops, I don't want it. Well, you can do this, or if it's not uh, too much of a problem, uh, if it doesn't create too much deviation, you can, of course, just do a by rail uh, with just one gen. Um, that might also be an idea, but I probably need a little bit more control. So let's go ahead and copy this curve again. So I'm just going to copy it over here and I'm just going to push it like this over here. And of course, I'm just going to extend like that. And I'm going to move the pivot here and I'm just going to push it down over here. And it looks like, well, it does look like it's a little bit far out. So there are a couple of things I can do. I can either push this in. Um, I'll have to see. So let's push it in a little bit and let's just extend it over here. I probably want to set up this curve too. So let's do that first. So I'm just going to set this up. Actually, from now on, I'm just going to make it a degree two, like this over here. Okay, you know what? I do think that this needs to be placed here. However, I probably have to adjust the hood uh, section a little bit. So I think that's pretty good. And let's just go ahead and extend it just a little bit. And I'm just going to snap this curve over here like that. Oh, actually, this one, I'm just going to duplicate it over. So I'm just going to duplicate this curve. And I'm going to snap it over here. And right now, well, this is not the best location. So let's go ahead and go to the front view and make sure that everything is pretty close. So I'm just going to use a stretch tool over here. Um, looks like there is a little deviation between the canvases uh, because at least from the top, it's supposed to be matching, but from the front, looks like it's not. So we just got to be a little bit careful, but well, it's just, as long as you're, you are somewhere uh, in the ballpark, I think it should be okay. All right. So let's go ahead and I think I'm going to actually adjust this curve down just a little bit and maybe push this one just a little bit as well okay so i think that's pretty good now i think this one is supposed to be just straight i instead of i know that it looks like there's a little bit of flick the all the other surfaces have a flick but i think this one is supposed to be just you know uh, straight to the hood curve over here um, so i think i'm just going to leave it like that all right, so I think that's pretty good. Uh, however, I'm just gonna push this just a little bit down so that this curve can also go down. Uh, let's just take a look at it from the front, maybe something like that. Okay, and I'll probably, let's see, from the front, that's not too bad. I'm just going to snap this down over here so that uh, from the, well, it's not exactly the best match. So maybe I'll just do something in between. You know what? Maybe something like that might be better. And I'm just going to reduce the crown a little bit. And I think that's fitting not too bad. Although it's not perfect, um, I would say it's, uh, I'm just going to, well, use the front view as uh, much as possible. And I think that's good. Okay, so now that's done, um, I'm going to move this one over here. So let's just push it out like this. And for the end, I'm just going to extend. And I'm just going to snap the CV over here. And that should be pretty close. 
Okay, so now that's on, let's go ahead and use another square. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four, like this. I'm just going to take a look at the shape. All right, so again, I'm just going to turn on patch precision, uh, just one in the middle, um, and that should allow me to compare the shape over here. And it does look like I probably want to uh, reduce the amount of curvature. So let's just push this uh, back over over here like this, and that's a little bit better match. However, that is going to make this uh, surface a little bit flatter. Oh, um, actually, that looks um, that doesn't look too good. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can just drag it down. Although I'm pretty sure it's going to create the same, essentially, the same shape. Now, if this is a problem, what you can do is you can also push this down as well. So, or you can push this, uh, push it this way. So basically, um, I'm using the length of this hood surface in order to basically make this a little bit flatter, and that's going to allow me to reduce the crown over here as well, without ruining the highlight too much. So as you can see, it's a little bit flatter compared to before. So you probably want to just do a balance between the two. So I think I'm going to do that. So I think I'm just going to push this one over here. And I'm going to see if I can just push this one over here as well. Something like that. Yeah, I, I, maybe this is too much movement, but let's take a look at the highlight after. Okay, so that's actually pretty flat. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Okay, so I think that's good. Now, that said, however, um, this center section um, can stay as it is, but as you can see, there's a little bit of level difference between the main hood section and this a little bit of surface on the side. You can see a little bit of surface break here, so you gotta be uh, aware of that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to leave uh, these as is, but I'm just going to duplicate these curves over here, and I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm just gonna push them down just a little bit. Uh, really, the depth uh, really depends on the surface, but I'm just going to push them down just a little bit like this. And what I can do is, well, actually, let's take a look at different images. I do think that the depth is the, I think there's most depth over here at the center. And I think it's starting to wash out as it goes towards either side. So let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to push this down over here like this, just a little bit more and I'm going to use the stretch tool to connect over here and what I'm going to do is well right now let's I think the symmetry is actually off I'm going to turn symmetry on do the same thing over here actually I should have done that a little bit later but that's okay all right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to well there are several ways to do this I think um, using the curve might be a little bit better option so let's do that so I'm pretty happy with the curve shape, but we need to retain the center height. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this one like that. And I'm going to copy and paste this curve over here. And I'm just going to, let's see, this one. And I'm just going to snap it right here like this. And now what I can do is I'm going to move the pivot to here. And I'm going to use a non proportional scale in order to snap it over here. So using the non proportional scale, I'm going to use the right mouse, uh, right mouse button to just scale it down like this. And you just want to get it close. It's there's because I'm just using scale. There's no way to make it exactly the same, except that's pretty close. Well, there's a little bit of discrepancy. And for the end, you just want to snap it like this, and that should be good. Okay, so what that does is that ensures that the curve height is exactly the same from previous iteration. So that's going to allow me to keep the center height as is. Do the same thing over here. I'm gonna just copy and paste. I'm going to move, oops, move the pivot like this. I'm just going to use a non proportional scale like this and I'm just going to snap it down and just get it a little closer um, and just snap this one over here as well. Okay, last one. Just gonna copy and paste like this. I'm gonna move the pivot, oops, move the pivot to the center. No proportional scale. Now, there is a chance that I might have to uh, adjust this one, but let's just get it somewhere close in the ballpark. Okay, again, I'm gonna snap it here and let's now use a square. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four like this, 
and same thing over here so it's going to be one two three and four like that all right so i think that should be pretty good oh uh why is this so much lower than the other ones oh because the pivot is over here okay so if that's the case um uh, let's just raise it up Okay, so I'm just going to go to a rear view like this and I'm just going to make sure that the curve height is pretty... Oh, actually, you know what? That one, I'm going to leave it as is because there are also, uh, if you see this section over here, I think this is a little bit more visible over here. There's a little flick as it goes towards the end. So you actually need a little depth of difference between the hood height and this one over here in order to get that. Sure, um, let me just make sure that this is set. Okay, and now what you can do is you can just grab, uh, well, there are several ways to do this. So you can either do an insert like this, or you can project. I don't think it really matters. And I'm just gonna trim the surface over here like this. And you, know, you can just use a freeform blend I'm going to say position, and you probably need a little bit of crown, proportional, and I'm going to say maybe crown value of 0 0.01, and I'm going to snap here, and I'm going to snap here. And all you have to just create a surface between the two, and do the same thing over here, and that creates a nice break between the two. Now, let's take a look at this. So I'm just going to say symmetry over here. So that creates a pretty nice break, although I'm not sure if it's a little bit too much because all the surfaces in uh, on the hood that tend to be uh, very subtle so i might have to play around with the height a little bit i think there might be a little bit too much break so actually i'm going to reduce the amount of crown on the hood over here and let's take a look Well, maybe it's not too bad, but I think as it goes towards the rear, I think it definitely needs to lift up a little bit. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to grab uh, the curve at the uh, this one over here, and I'm just going to lift it up like this. And let's go ahead and use the stretch tool over here to snap it like this. And that updates it nicely and that makes it a little bit subtle as it goes towards uh, the rear. And also you'll see that there's a little bit of flick uh, towards the end. So I do want to put that in. So I'm just going to do an insert. Now you can uh, do several things. You can do an insert, extend, uh, doesn't really matter. But I think I'm just going to place it somewhere over here. Actually, before I do that, let me just untrim this. So I'm just, uh, let's just go ahead and untrim. I'm going to do an insert. Again, I'm just going to, well, something like this might be good. And I'm going to do a freeform blend over here. And I'm going to say side one is going to be curvature and side two is just going to be position. And there it is. Now it's a little bit long um, and it creates a little bit weird shape. So I'm just going to make sure that it's set to default. And I probably want to do an explicit control to reduce the number of spans. Although I'm probably going to do a little bit of um, editing on this surface because it still has a span in the middle. But essentially that allows me to create a nice subtle flick towards the end uh, with nice highlight flowing there. And yeah, that looks that's looking pretty good. Now, if you want to do any adjustments, you can do that. But for now, I think it's not too bad. Although I'm not, man, it does look a little bit abrupt. I'm not sure. But it also looks pretty abrupt over here as well. So I'll have to, well, I think I, I'll have to um, build uh, more in order to see if this works or not. Okay, so now that's done, uh, let's go ahead and create some of the surfaces on the outside. So right now I do have a curve over here uh, and I do need a curve over here as well. So what I'm going to do is, well, I basically duplicated this curve over here so that the sections are the same. I'm just going to snap it over here. So I think that looks pretty good. Uh, however, let's just go ahead and snap it over here so that the location is good. And I'm just going to use a rotate or you can use the stretch tool, it doesn't really matter, to make sure that it's good. Now, when I'm rotating this, I'm just gonna make sure that it's somewhat parallel and I'm just going to shift it a little bit more outboard. 
like this to make sure that it's at the it's at a good location okay and i'm just going to extend it over uh, towards the end and i do i think there's a little very subtle flick over here so let's do this oh actually this uh, uh well i guess uh, the location for this one is supposed to be separate so i'm just going to leave it here and yeah i'm just going to follow the canvas now it does look like well there's a little discrepancy between the canvases well let's see maybe i just want to push it down just a little bit hmm that doesn't really fit though you know what i'm let, let's just yeah, I think this much maybe might not be too bad. I'm just going to try and basically balance between the two uh, two views. So I'll just leave it there and I'm just going to snap this curve back down. I think that's, well, it's close on the front, uh, from, the, uh, from the side view, from the rear, it's a little bit off, but I think that should be okay. All right, so for this side, here's what I'm going to do now. There is a surface that goes down a little bit. I think uh, there's um, basically a slope over here and there's a slope over here. So I, I have to do that. So let's go ahead and put that in. So even though uh, from the front view, it looks like it's supposed to be matching. I think it's supposed to come down a little bit too. So, um, but for, uh, let's take a look. So instead of snapping it over here, I'm just going to snap it. Well, I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit like this and I'm just going to create a surface based on that so let's go ahead and I'm just going to snap a curve over here actually you know what I'm just going to duplicate this one move the pivot here oops I'm gonna snap it over here like this I'm just going to extend it back And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snap this curve over here like this. And that should create a nice slope of downwards over here. Now, as far as the size goes, I probably have to do a little bit of playing around. Uh, but well, actually, maybe probably needs to be a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to snap it over here like this. And I'm going to just do a rail. It's going to be one on one. And that should create a nice break over here. I probably do need a crown uh, on the surface because I think it might look a little bit flat. So let's give that a little bit of crown over here. And that looks good. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. And I'm just going to do a rail like this to create this surface. And let's just use a curve segment to, to snap it over here like this. And that looks good. Um, although I probably want to reduce the amount of surface break between the two. So I might just give it a little bit of rotation like this. Of course, you can do a bi rail um, to do that too. Really depends on your preference. Okay, so I think that's good. Actually, you know what? Uh, I think I probably do need to break the surface over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to snap a curve. Um, let's see, I'm going to snap. Uh, why, not? why am I not seeing a curve? I'm going to snap it over here. I'm going to snap it over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to project it from the top like this. And let's go ahead and trim. And I'm just going to do a rail over here. It's going to be gen over here, rail over here. And just let's just take a look. Okay, so I think there is a little bit of flick uh, towards here uh, on the surface as well. So I think I'm just going to leave it, but I probably want to do a little bit of rotation on here as well. So maybe, well, actually, you know what? Let's just make that on a bi rail so that I have a little bit more control. Okay, so let's go ahead and make it just a zero. And I'm just going to duplicate this edge like this so that it ha basically has the same section. Now, if it doesn't match over here, that's fine because there's going to be a little flick here anyways. I do see a slight hint of flick there. So I'm going to put that in. Okay, so let's go back to alias and I'm just going to do a bi rail over here. So it's going to be one and two or tw uh, two and one, uh, whichever you prefer. Just going to put that there and I'm going to put one over here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do a rail here again. 
just going to set this one up like this and I'm going to say Kirk segments I'm going to snap this one over here and again I'm going to just project it from Z to trim this like that and let's go ahead and trim it over here and let's go ahead and do a by rail over here so it's going to be one and two over here like this now it does have a lot of spans but that's okay um i'm going to do a little bit of cleanup actually let's see if i can do explicit control so it looks like gen yeah degree two well even if it if it even if it fails position well let's just leave it at three for now uh but i'm going to do a little bit of cleanup on that uh real degree it can be two because it's natural curves so i think that's good all right so basically that sets up the basic shape of the hood, uh, although I, I do have a little bit more sections to do, um, but I think that's not too bad. Okay, so now that's done, let's go ahead and set up some uh, surfaces over here. So I do have a reference for this one. So I'm just, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to copy, uh, copy and paste this curve over here like this. I'm just gonna bring it down like that. And basically, well, it's pretty similar, although I have a little bit of adjustments to do. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and just extend it just a little bit over here. And of course, I have to make sure that the four app is good. So I'm just going to use the stretch tool over here and let's just, well, I could have probably rotated it too. I just want to make sure that it's pretty close. Okay, so I think that's good. And the hood, um, well, it does intersect with the grill over here. So I'm just going to bring it back like that. And now I, I'm just going to connect the two using freeform blend. Of course, you need a little bit of crown on the surface. So I'm just going to put, well, it, it doesn't have to be super large, but you just want to put something in there. And I think that looks good. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to say connect, uh, let's see, default. Eh, that should be okay for now. And this one, I'm going to say edge align and that looks good as well. Okay, so not too bad. And yeah, I think there is a little bit of twist. Uh, I think that's okay. And let's, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so now um, here's what I'm going to do. I do need a side uh, surface on the side. So I'm probably going to just build it up to this point. And let's see how that looks. Okay, so in order to create this surface over here, um, I do think that there is a theoretical running through like sort of diagonally. So I'm going to see if I can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this a little bit so that I have a little more section. And let's see if I can just do a rail over here. So I'm just going to say one and one. I'm going to just do this and see how that looks. Okay. So here's the critical part. I'm just going to try to set it up so that it matches from the top and the bottom. So right now from the top view, that's where it matches. Now from the side view, I think that's a little bit too low. Although, as you can see, the lines are a little bit wiggly, which I highly doubt that's what's happening in the actual car. So you just want to make a good guess uh, as to how it should be. Now, uh, I know that it's, well, from the top view, well, actually that's not bad. I think the location might be pretty good. I think, yeah. The only thing I probably have to do is just lean this a little bit. Now, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a little bit more flat. Um, let's see. Well, first of all, let's do this. I'm just gonna cut the hood over here. So I'm just going to snap a curve over here. I'm gonna snap it over here like this. Give it a little bit of crown like that. And I'm just going to project over here like this and I'm going to trim. Okay, so that gives a, get, uh, that gives the surface this shape over here. And I think for this one, I think I'm going to just make it a little bit easier on myself and use a viral. So I'm just going to duplicate this curve over here and let's just make it fit over here like this from the top view. Well, maybe I'll drag it just a little bit. If that's a case though, I probably want to change the angle a little bit because I think this point actually needs to rise up a little bit. So let's do this. I'm just going to raise it, uh, move it over here like this. And 
Let's move it over here like that. And when I snap this one, let me, let me just go to a four view. When I snap this one over here, you will see that it goes up because of the change in angle of this one. So I think that's a little bit better fit. Okay, from the top here, it still looks pretty good. Although I think this probably needs to go out a little bit as well. So that's going to probably bring it back down a little bit, but I think it's probably better than before. Well, maybe not. So let's just make some adjustments. So I'm just going to, well, let's see. I, I wonder if it's, uh, there's, this is doing anything. I'm just going to snap this over here. Do need to push this out a little bit, but in fact, if I do that, it goes back down. Um, so let's do this. If I can extend it just a little bit more. Actually, you know what? Let's um, do this. I'm just going to duplicate this edge uh, and I'm just going to push it out and see if the, how the relationship changes between the angle. So I'm just going to snap this one over here from the side view like this because I think it's a pretty good match over here. Yeah, I think that does help. All right, so I think that's a pretty good location. All right, so now that that's done, I'm just going to snap it over here like this and that's trimmed and let's go ahead and put a by rail over here. So it's going to be one and two like this and that looks pretty good. Okay, so I think the most of the surfaces are blocked in. Uh, the only thing I have to do is, uh, is the one over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is, um, well, as you can see over here, there's a little depth difference between this edge and this edge. So I'm going to, well, I do have to be a little bit aware, um, but I do see a character line that's a follow, uh, following over here. So I'm gonna see if I can duplicate that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to snap a curve over here like this. I'm just going to, well, basically mimic this shape over here and let's see where that ends up. So I'm just going to do that. And for this one, um, I think I'm just going to do a rail. So it's going to be one and one. And I'm just going to say parallel and I'm just going to snap it. Uh, notice I'm snapping on this curve, not this hood down here because, well, basically this is where it meets all the other surfaces. So I'm just going to do that. And whatever it intersects naturally over here is what I'm going to be using. And let's just go ahead and turn the patch precision on to make sure that all the locations are good. So I'm just going to go check from the side view over here. I think that actually that's not too bad. A little bit of discrepancy here, but well, it's not too bad. I think this one is pretty good. Although I might want to change the angle just a little bit. And let's take a look. All right, um, yeah, I think that's actually pretty good. Now, I do want to check the hood location, or not the hood location, but the where the, it meets the, uh, the grill. So I'm just going to extend it just a little bit and let's just do a few checks. So I'm just going to strike some curves over here. Now, I'm not going to do the grill, but at least it should be somewhat close. So I'm just going to put a curve over here like this, and I'm just going to roughly put a curve over here as well. It's not the exact shape, but that's okay. And I do think that this one probably needs to extend out a little bit. Um, so, well, let's just do this. Okay, so I'm just going to project it from the front and it should somewhat be close to the top, which um, it isn't, which uh, that's okay. That probably means I probably need to bring this back a little bit. So uh, if that's the case, I uh, let's see, that makes things a little bit more complicated, but well, it matches from the side view. That's interesting. So I wonder if the top view is just wrong or if the front and the side is wrong. 
Okay, whatever. Okay, so let, let's do this. I think uh, I'm just going to make some adjustment, uh, minor adjustments. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring these two curves back just a little bit like this. I don't think it should be too much. I think that's probably not too bad. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this curve as well. Um, so I'm just going to snap, pivot over here. I'm just going to snap it close there like this. And I'm going to extend it like this. And let's just make sure that the curve height is pretty close. Now this one, let's see, uh, this one does need to the need to snap to the bottom. So I'm just going to snap it over here like this. And wait, where did all the curves go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Wait, did I pick the wrong one? I think I might have. Okay. So first of all, I'm just going to snap this one over here. Don't think that should change too much over here. Um, yeah, maybe add a little bit more crown here like this. That should compensate for that. And I think this one over here. Uh, okay, so all the surfaces are all broken all over the place. Oh, okay, so I think, okay, so that's why, okay. So I think this curve actually needs to be located first before I do anything else. So let's grab that. So I'm just going to snap it over here, snap it over here. And from the top view, Just going to make sure it matches. Let's just extend it close over here. Okay, so I think it's pretty close. So for the end, I'm just going to grab this C over here. I'm just going to snap it like that, and that should be good. Okay, so now that's settled the back down, and basically this curve is for the top. Um, I don't know why you put it like that. So let's just move this one over here. I'm just going to snap it over here like this, and for the final adjustment, I'm just going to snap it like this. Symmetry is still on, so that's good. And I probably want to adjust the height over here as well. But let's take a look. Okay, so for this one, uh, I'm just going to snap this curve over here. And let's just make sure. I'm just going to snap it somewhere over here closely. And this one, I do have to adjust the curve segment over here like this. And I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, okay, so it looks like there is a little bit of discrepancy over here. Oh, uh, that one, it's a little bit short, that's why. So, oh, uh, that one, I, I probably have to rebuild or fill it, but that's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and move this one. I'm going to turn the symmetry off on this. This one, car segments will be turned off. And let's just check. Ah, uh, this one didn't really move that much, I think. They might also have to do with the height of this one as well. And I probably, well, it did move. It just didn't move as much as I thought it should have. So you know what? Um, now, there are a couple of things I can do. I can probably try to move it uh, a little bit more. But you know what? For this demo, I think I'm just going to leave it as is and just uh, move on with uh, other surfacing. Okay. So let's go ahead and finish the primary surfaces. So actually, let me just rebuild this one. So I'm just going to redo the rail. It's going to be one and one. Like this, Christmas it's towards the end. I'm just going to project from Z. I'm just going to trim this. And this one is going to rebuild. So one and two, like this. Of course, explicit control. Looks like three is actually failing, but that's okay. I'm just going to clean up a little bit later. All right, and for this section over here, uh, here's what I have to do. Basically, I have to connect the two, so that's uh, that's what I'm going to do. 
All right, so I think this depth is good. I think, yeah, I think the primary surface are pretty good. So let's go ahead and connect the dots from here to here to trim this surface like this from Z. I'm going to trim this one and I'm just going to connect the two using by rail. So it's going to be, I'm just going to use this as a gen, this as a rail and this trimmed edge as a rail as well. Okay, so it looks like it does need a little bit more degrees over here and Basically, this will cap the front or this surface over here. Oh, actually, that's a little bit short. Oh, and that's due to a little bit of discrepancy between those. So I'm just going to do a little bit over here. Let's just snap this one over here. Now, this one is, isn't too bad, but I probably want to extend it just a little bit. So I'm just going to grab this one over here like this. And let's just project this one over here as well. So I think probably something like that should be good. I'm just going to project from to the top. And I'm going to just trim over here. Let's see, why is this not trimming? So I'm just going to untrim, retrim. Oh, because of there. Okay, so I'm just going to extend it. Oops, I just want to extend the curve. Like that. Let's just trim it over here. And let's do the viral again. So it's going to actually, you know what, let's just do a square. So I'm going to snap our curve over here and here. I'm just going to give it a little bit more crown like this. I think that's more like it. And just going to use a square. One two, three, and four. And let's just do a rebuild over here. And that's, that takes care of the surface over here. So the only thing left now is just intersecting this surface with this one. So here's what I'm going to do. Actually, before, I, uh, before that, this is actually symmetrical. So let's take care of that first. So I'm just going to untrim over here like this. Actually, um, yeah, there is a little difference. You know what? From the side view, well, the canvas is a little bit off. Okay, but that's okay. Uh, I, you, even despite the difference, I think that's just a good exercise to show, show you guys how to do this. Um, it's a little bit off, but I, for this one, I, I'm not going to concentrate too much on accuracy. Okay, so let me just trim this. Um, and what I'm going to do is, oh, actually, before I do that, uh, this is actually not symmetrical. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to turn symmetry on and I'm going to just extend it. So I'm just going to make sure I grab the right edge and I'm just going to extend it so that it is symmetrical above both sides. In order to check that, you can just turn symmetry off over here on the layer and you just want to make sure that symmetry is on and it doesn't show any messages over here, which means it's symmetrical on both sides. Okay, so for this surface over here, I'm just going to extend it. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, like this. And basically that creates a nice little break for this surface over here. So I'm just going to intersect here. And I'm just going to intersect here. I'm just going to, let's see, let's go ahead and trim, extend. I'm going to say keep over here. And I'm going to trim this one. Oh, it looks like our COS is a little bit short here. So let's do that. And basically that creates a nice break for these. And that's going to allow me to do all the surfacing over here. Of course, there needs to be a fillet. But uh, for now, I think that should be good. Although I'm a little bit... I think the shape is probably a little bit questionable. I probably want a little bit crown this way, or at least a flat, because I think this might need a little bit of adjustment. But that one, I'll leave that for uh, for the next one. Okay, so at least uh, I think the, all the primary surfaces are done, um, other than a little bit of adjustment that's needed here. So I think that's pretty good. All right. That's it, however, uh, I think I'm going to split this also into two parts because of, uh, well, I still need to put a lot of fillets all through the hood. So we'll continue in the next one. Okay, 
So that is it for part one, and uh, we'll continue in part two. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.